In today's episode of Food Basics Dream Inventor, I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest and healthiest homemade yogurt in an instant pot. And then I'm gonna take it to the next level and show you how to make an incredible fruit yogurt parfait that is absolutely delicious. Stay tuned. waiting 10 hours then finding out that the milk has not turned into the delicious yogurt you've been looking for can be quite frustrating that's exactly when your instant pot comes to play i have done a ton of delicious yogurts in my instant pot and it never failed once because it pasteurizes the milk at the right temperature and then it maintains steady temperature for as long as you want until you get the yogurt consistency you've been looking for to make the most delicious yogurt Remove the lid of the instant pot and make sure you're not using a seal that has been used previously on savory food or you will end up with a yogurt that tastes so bad. Add 2 liter or half gallon of whole milk into the instant pot. Close the lid and put the valve on seal. Turn the instant pot on. Choose the yogurt setting and start the process in this stage. The instant pot will pasteurize the milk by heating it to 180 degrees Fahrenheit to kill any bacteria that might spoil the yogurt in the future. This should take about 10 minutes, but once done, remove the lid and check the temperature of the milk. If it's anything between 175 and 185 degrees Fahrenheit, congratulations, you've done 50% of the job. Give the milk a quick mix to make sure that nothing from the milk fat is sticking at the bottom of the pot. Remove the pot, cover it with any clean lid that matches the size of the instant pot, pot if this is correct, and then leave the milk to cool down for about 30 to 45 minutes until the milk temperature goes down to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that you got rid of the bad bacteria and the milk is at 115 degree Fahrenheit, you're ready to add the good yogurt bacteria. The type of bacteria you're gonna add will determine the taste of the yogurt you're gonna get. And I'm not trying to ask you to become a scientist before making a yogurt. All you need to do is use a starter from a yogurt variety that you prefer and the bacteria in this yogurt will multiply and give you a yogurt that is identical to the taste and texture of your favorite yogurt. In this recipe, I'm gonna use four tablespoons of my favorite Balkan style yogurt. Put the four tablespoons of yogurt in a small bowl, then add a couple of ladles of the milk you've just pasteurized. Mix until the yogurt dissolves and then add the mix back into the instant pot. Use a whisk and mix the yogurt starter with the rest of the two gallons, then close the instant pot lid and put the valve on seal and then start the fermentation process. Ideally, fermentation takes 8 hours, but you can leave the milk for up to 24 hours. The more you leave it, the more it gets thick and sharp. After 8 hours, open the lid. Test the consistency of the yogurt using a spoon in the middle. If the spoon stands, congratulations, you've just made the most incredible homemade Balkan style yogurt. Save the yogurt in a sealed container and let it cool down in the fridge for about one hour before you enjoy it. Unless you like to eat hot yogurt, but that would be a different story. Now, let me show you how to use this homemade yogurt to make super delicious yogurt parfait. Use jars to make yogurt parfait, not only because they look amazing, but also because they are sealable and stackable. So you can make the yogurt parfait, seal it and leave it in the fridge for the time when you wish to enjoy it. If you love plain yogurt with light, healthy sweetness, fill the jar with yogurt and drizzle some honey on the top. Hmm. What could be better than this simple and delicious parfait? For the berry lovers, fill the jar with yogurt, sprinkle some blueberries, raspberries, and you will have a very delicious berry topped yogurt parfait. If you love strawberries, add a couple of spoons of strawberry jam at the bottom of the jar, fill the rest of the jar with yogurt and decorate with some beautiful 
fresh strawberries. If you're craving more texture and flavor, try filling the jar with yogurt. Sprinkle some granola, then add some sliced banana and finish with a drizzle of chocolate sauce. This is actually my favorite and it is so delicious. Now watch this. This one is for the champions. Use a big jar and add a layer of yogurt at the bottom. Then sprinkle some granola, followed by a beautiful layer of blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Add another layer of yogurt, then top with more granola, and a mix of blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. This is a berry lover's special, and to tell you the truth guys, I could eat this in the morning and don't eat anything for the rest of the day and never get tired. Finally, for those like me who crave blackberries, try filling the jar with yogurt and top with blackberries, a lot of blackberries. Seriously guys, this simple yogurt parfait is absolutely delicious. I hope you like this episode. Please try this recipe and tell me in the comments below or on Food Basics Reinvented Facebook and Instagram pages how you like to enjoy your yogurt parfait. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bon appétit.